Yes, welcome to my vlog, Charot. <laughs> Ayan, serious na tayo. <laughs> this is a tutorial on how to make unique transitions like this on your next PowerPoint presentations. Now, as some of you may know, I teach art appreciation at a university and I really take my time in making my PowerPoint presentations. I have been regularly asked as to how I make those and what certain applications do I use. With that, I decided to make this video so it won't be repetitive on my end. What I'm showing you right now were some of the presentations I've used over the years and if you want to spice up your presentations, I'm gonna share to you how I do it. Now, I'm gonna tell you that I use Microsoft PowerPoint, not CapCut, not Canva, neither of those up-and-coming editing applications. Now, that is not to discredit the creatives behind those other applications. I'm just saying that I'm more familiar with the features of Microsoft PowerPoint. Upon opening Microsoft PowerPoint, you could insert a picture of your choice, a picture you want to use on your title page. In this example, the topic is about art as an expression, art as a product of imagination, so I'm just gonna use this one. We could leave that there for now and uh, proceed to the next slide. If you don't know the keyboard shortcut in creating a new slide, it's Ctrl plus M. Make your next slide this is how you normally make one without putting a background. So here, I'm just gonna type creativity and I'm gonna insert a phrase closely attributed to it. In my presentations, I usually just input keywords and some pictures since I don't want to bombard my students with words on screen. And I don't want to teach by just reading what's on my slides. Now that you're done with that slide, this one is a step you don't want to miss. Think of like a word or a picture that you want your audience to see on your first slide. A word or a picture you wanted to appear on the first slide. For example, here I want to show the word creativity. I'm gonna open my snipping tool and save this as a picture. You could see later how this is an important step. Now we're gonna go back to our first slide. This is where the magic happens. Go to insert, slide zoom, pick the slide you wanna show, and then <laughs> Remember the image we just saved a while ago? <laughs> We're gonna use that here. So click change image and then that image will appear here instead of that random picture of your slide. This would be more visually pleasing, right? <laughs> click zoom background. Return to Zoom, and that's basically it. Now that you've successfully done that, it's now easy to make another one since you're just gonna execute the same steps. Insert a next slide, insert the text, you want to insert here i'm just gonna type art as a product of imagination imagination as a product of art since that is related to my topic
Insert the picture of your choice. Open your snipping tool again. Save the word. In this case, it's imagination. Save it as a picture. Go back to your first slide. Go to insert. Click slide zoom. Pick the slide you want to show. Click change image and then we'll insert the image that we've saved a while ago using the snipping tool. Then that's it. Now you have a unique transition you could use on your next PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> so, aside from that Zoom transition I just showed you, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> I know a better PowerPoint transition. <laughs> I'm gonna show you an example of that one. Here it is. I was recently invited to be a guest speaker at like two webinars. And this was my presentation on the first webinar that was held last February. If you want to learn how to make this transition, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below <laughs> so I could make another video of it. That's it for this vlog. Yes, number. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.